the EcoBoard project. When many people gather in an area, in most cases, they litter the places they have gathered, leading improper use of dustbins. And if the litter is cared for, they collect it and leave it exposed to wind, which can carry it back to the environment and lead to the blocking of drainage systems, which leads to flooding. So, we collect the litter by sweeping and many other ways. Usually, when the litter is collected, it is burnt, which can also lead to environmental pollution and health hazards. But the best way of disposing of waste paper is by recycling it to make products that are friendly to the environment like the softboards. The process begins when rubbish which contains waste paper, polythene, dust, etc. is collected. After collecting the rubbish, waste paper is then sorted from other rubbish. That is to say, sorting waste paper from polythene and dust respectively, as shown. When sorting of the waste paper is finished, the paper is torn into small pieces. Then after the tearing, water is added to the torn pieces The tearing of the paper makes the absorption of water easier. Then the damp paper looks like this. The damp paper is further mashed to smaller pieces to easily mix with water. The mixture of water and paper is left for some time whereby also the discarded soap which was collected is then chopped into tiny pieces then added into the mixture. Soap is added in the mixture because it makes the mixture softer to make the process easier. Then the mixture is mixed vigorously for some time to form pulp. Hot water is then added to cassava flour to form cassava paste. Which cassava paste we add to the pulp using it as glue to bind the fibers. The pulp is then squeezed to drain it of the water using an old mosquito net that is no light that is no longer in use. Wood frames of selected length and width are good. Then the frames are filled with slurry until they obtain the shape of Frames are filled with a the pulp. They are leveled and flattened to take the shape of the frame and to form flat surfaces. The process of leveling and flattening is a long one since the softboards have to be perfectly flat. After leveling the pulp in the frame, it is then left dry in sunshine. After drying the slurry in the sunshine, we now have a well finished environmental friendly durable and strong softball